Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here to share with you the new collection from Stamperia called Coffee and Chocolate. So this is in stock and available to ship right now. Let me get my phone out of my way and my cheat sheet over here. So the first thing we're going to go through is what they call, or what I'm calling, the core designs. Um, with this collection, they decided to release a core design, which is 10 double face sheets, the backgrounds, and then lastly, this new, what they call a maxi pad, 22 sheets, single sided. So the back sides are white. <clears throat> so we're going to start, first of all, with the core designs. Get that out of the way. Lots of cut aparts. The, these are going to be really easy to cut apart and use as design features, um, either on your card or your mini album, just because of the shapes. Sometimes the shapes are so intricate, it's really hard to cut them out. Um, this, you know, like this takes a little bit more effort than all these straight lines. Okay, this is kind of cool because you could actually cut it into quarters. Nice background. Okay, nice cut aparts here too. <clears throat> okay, you've got your clocks. That's kind of an interesting shape. I like this. This is kind of interesting. Um, you could use this, like, say, for example, on a card and then have these two little things flip up with some kind of a sentiment under it. Okay, super easy to cut apart and using cards. This would also make a really cute um, mini album with sort of your coffee clutch friends. That's a great background page. Some cut parts so you could add some layers and dimension to your project. Okay, so that is what I call the core designs. This is the background selection. And there are 10 double-sided sheets. Um, this is meant to be a collage, but you could easily cut some of these elements out and feature them on a page or a project. This is a nice uh, background page, too. The little coffee rings are fun. Ooh, I like that. That's neat. <laughs> this will make an interesting background as well. These remind me of like apothecary, but I'm, I suspect they're supposed to be different. Um, I like sugar, cocoa, coffee, chocolates. Oh, that's pretty. So it's meant to look like a distressed leather. That, that looks really cool. Okay. I like that a lot. Well, lots of nice backgrounds. Okay, and then I'm going to go through this too because there are some prints in here that are not in um, the collection pack. Now this we've seen in the other one. Same for this. I think anyway. I have to go back and look. So the, the distinction is for when you're getting the single sided, it just means you're, you're able to use every single print in the pack. When you're getting the um, double sided, you're, you generally have to make a choice between the front and back. And if you love both designs, um, you have to sacrifice at least part of one. I don't think this is in the collection pack. There is no um, six by six squares. So that's a unique page to this collection. Um, I don't think I saw this either, so this might be unique to this uh, pack. That's the same. So there's 22 sheets here, and in the other pack, there's 10 double sided. So, <clears throat> and this is also unique to this. There are no 6x6 six six cutouts. <clears throat> oh, that's another unique one a box, like a box of chocolates and sweets. My pers 
for me personally, I think I would like this um, <clears throat> so that I could use every single design. So you're basically getting twice as many uh, images, over twice as many, because you don't have to make a choice. Okay, and then there's this side, and then just a white sheet, which is kind of unusual, but um, you could also just use that as a part of the base of a card or a map against any one of those elements. So that covers the 12 by 12 core designs, 12 by 12 background, and the 12 by 12 uh, single sided sheets. Next, I want to share with you um, the uh, rice paper. So the top three rice papers that I show you here, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here, um, we also sell as just individual sheets. What I'm going to show you is a complete six sheet A4 assortment that comes packaged that way. And then again, the top three we will sell individually as an individual sheet if you don't want everything. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. This sheet here is called Grinder. This is books. And then this is for cards. And again, these are all rice sheets. And here are the remaining three. You've got your coffee cups. And I don't know if that's the official name. <laughs> your clocks. And then some sentiments. Okay, so that's our rice paper. Again, you can buy the six pack A4 or you can buy these individual sheets, the, the three that I um, showed you first. Next, we're going to go over the collectibles. Okay, these are great for cards. You can see these as just little um, edge, edges on a card. Lots of cut apart so you can get some dimension. That's fun. More cut aparts. And these are sized just right for for traditional card sizes. Oh, these would be really pretty fussy cut and just tucked in here and there in your card. Hmm. Nice. And then the back sides are nice. So if you chose you know, one or two elements, you'd still have plenty of paper for the base of the card. And then just add various elements. So if you're a fussy cutter, this is definitely for you. Okay, that is what's called the collectibles. Next, um, there's always so much with um, Stamperia. We have a set of coordinating wooden shapes. So these wooden shapes are, um, I would say, about an eighth of an inch thick. So they're pretty dense. Um, they look really nice uh, when they're mounted. Then we have the die cuts. I can't remember if Stamperia tells us how many. They do not. So a large assortment of die cuts. Um, personally, for me, I would uh, get the die cuts rather than the fussy cut. Speeds things up, but also with my arthritis, uh, fussy cutting is starting to become a thing I just kind of dread, unfortunately, because I used to love it. So tons of um, die cuts. Um, they, I'd say they're about a sixteenth of an inch thick. They're pretty rigid, and the colors look rich. And there's what they call the ephemera pack on the back side of these. It's adhesive, and they're a little bit thinner. Um, they're rigid, but not to the extent of the chipboard. And as you can see, it's pretty jam-packed, too. And it's really, you know, these elements are really thin. So there's a lot in here. I bet there's somewhere between 35 and 52. It's hard to tell because I'm not going to open it up. Um, and then we've got, this is new, I think. I haven't seen it anyway. This is called a washi pad. So it's got these various elements, and they have washi adhesive on the back, which means they're repositionable. Um, and you get these detail elements, and then you get these border strips as well. So they come on a sheet, and then you cut off and use which pieces you want. 
And that's like a whole sheet of just washi. So it's kind of interesting. Um, there's eight sheets in here, and that's what you're going to get. I'm anxious to try some of that. I haven't. Uh, this is the card collection. And in the card collection, you get a set of tags, a set of base cards. There's a folding card. You've got a square card. Um, some uh, smaller folded cards and then card toppers are in here. So you get seven cards, five tags, and one bookmark. This is fun. This is a nice little project in a pack or set of projects in a pack. And then the last thing I'm going to share with you are what are called the decorative chips. And these are coordinating decorative chips um, that go with this collection. And that is going to be it for the coffee and chocolate collection. And you can see there's all kinds of goodies um, that go with this collection. In addition to the 12 by 12 maxi, there's also a 12 by 12, um, I'm sorry, there's also an 8 by 8 maxi pack, which is the single sided. So everything that you saw in the 12 by 12 can also be purchased in the 8 by 8. And then lastly, there's our rice paper. So that's it for coffee and chocolate. Stampery is one of Stampery's newest collections. Everything's available in stock. Come check it out. And thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Crate. We'll talk soon.